الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله الذي خلقكم من ضعف ثم جعل من بعد ضعف قوة ثم جعل من بعد قوة ضعفا وشيبا يخلق ما يشاء وهو العليم القدير صدق الله العظيم الله سبحانه وتعالى says in سورة الروم Allah is the one who creates you in weakness and then gives you after weakness strength and then gives you after strength weakness and grey hair. He creates what he wills and he is the knowing, the powerful. We all know this. Although sometimes it's hard to face up to the reality of our decline. But it is his wisdom in creation that he alone is al-Baqi, the one who goes on. And everything else comes and goes. Even the mountains, the geologists say, they begin and then they're worn down again. And what could be more formidable than a mountain? The seas, the glaciers, the rivers, all living things, they all have their springtime, their youth, their prime. And then they feel the leaves starting to fall and then there is winter time, the snow on the head, and then new life begins. And this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's will in his creation. We find very often in the Qur'an a mention of this, not just the usefulness of remembering that our strength will never last, not just the usefulness of remembering that our life will come to an end and we will pass on to something which we can only dimly imagine, Hmm? The party will be over, there will be a closing time for all of us in the time of Allah's choosing, only if his choosing. But this state of aging is something that is particularly stressed in the Qur'an. Hmm? There's da'af and shaba, weakness and grey hair. Hmm? And in the sunnah of the chosen one sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to honor those who are in the autumn and the winter of their lives is particularly stressed. He says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inna min ikrami inna min ikrami la inna min ijlali la ikramu al muslim li shayba وَإِكْرَامُ حَامِلِ الْقُرْآنِ غَيْرِ الْغَالِي فِي وَلَا الْجَافِي عَنْ وَإِكْرَامُ ذِي السُّلْطَانِ الْمُقْسِطِ It's one of those hadiths that are amazing but speak about different things but we see how they're together. He says part of honouring God is to honour the elderly Muslim. And part of honouring God is to honour the one who is carrying the Qur'an, maybe his hafiz, as long as he doesn't go to any extremes and as long as he's not neglectful. That person should be honoured. And the third one who should be honoured as part of our honouring of our Creator is this Sultan al muqsat the just ruler. Not many opportunities for honouring really just rulers. In our age, you look at the headlines and it's circus after circus, disappointment after disappointment, we all know this, but if there's a true just ruler, ah, now that is an interesting person. Despite all of the temptations, the person is just. And this is stressed in our religion, which is a political religion because it's an everything religion. <laughs> there is nothing in which the moral code decreed by heaven to liberate us is indifferent to. How long should your hair be? That's in the sunnah. How should you behave if you're in a position of massive responsibility? That's in the sunnah as well. There's no secular area that we kind of don't care about, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala isn't interested in. No. He alone is the sovereign in every situation. His law alone brings human justice and liberation. Now, one of the things that is most moving about the stories of the early rulers of Islam. Let us pass in tactful silence over the present day rulers of Islam, but the early rulers of Islam was that 
they looked out for the weak. And the elderly were particularly important to them. Not like our culture. But for them, this ikram, this honoring of the elderly Muslim is part of the honoring of God. Here's one story. وكان عمر رضي الله عنه يتعاهد الأرامل بسقي لهم. Sayyidina Umar, the majestic Khalifa, the one who is administering this huge and enlarging world, the one who has to deal with the market, the one who has to deal with taxation, the one who has to deal with justice. Huh. <laughs> How does he spend his spare time? Well, what do we do nowadays? Well, drinks and cheese on the lawn of Downing Street. While everybody else, and the old people, and the orphans, and the elderly women are kind of dying, and their relatives can't even wave to them through the window. Never mind. But what did he do as a ruler? He used to go and visit people like Sayyidina Omar. And we have this consistent tradition. The assumption that the old have so much to give, that they're still part of the family, that age implies wisdom, experience, love for the young. They can be at the center of things rather than just put in concentration camps for the over 80s where they sit around watching television, waiting for death, never seeing anyone. No, there is a better way. This is important in our tradition, this ikram. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whoever does not show compassion and mercy to the young, and whoever does not know the rights of the old, is not one of us. That's rather a big thing to say, huh? because he wants it to be a big message. Kindness to children and to young people, for sure. Be patient with them, but also, knowing the rights of the old. What are those rights? What have they done for us? They've done everything. <laughs> They've done everything. You know, because of what they did for us when we were small. وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا وَاخْفِضْ لَهُمَا جَنَاحَ الظُّلِّ مِنَ الرَّحْمَةِ وَقُلْ رَبِّ الْحَمْهُمَا كَمَا رَبَّيَانِ صَغِيرًا Another diamond from the box of diamonds that is Allah's book. SubhanAllah. Your Lord has decreed that you will worship none save him and uh, to be good. Ihsan. To behave in an ethical and beautiful way to your parents. If one of them or both of them reach old age with you, do not say uff, which is like, get lost. Do not speak disrespectfully to them, and do not repel them, but speak honorably to them in a way that is kareem. Lower to them the wing of compassion, uh -huh. in a humble way, and say, O oh Lord, have mercy to them as they brought me up when I was little. We tend to forget how much they did. When you become a parent, you realize how much your own parents did and the extraordinary sacrifices involved in motherhood in particular, which is something, again, that we honor, that this modern culture tends not to honor so much. Hmm? For every article in the newspapers about motherhood, there's going to be 50 about fashion, or cosmetic surgery, or what is cool for women, but motherhood, that extraordinary, unique achievement and gift, um, not so much. They're not really so interested. And their birth rate is going down. They don't know what a gift and a sacrifice this is. Imam Zakaria a few weeks ago gave us those beautiful verses from Surat Maryam, and it's in Surat Al Imran as well. There's no world scripture that honors mother motherhood as the Quran does, that honors the Virgin Mary and her solitary, heroic uh, birth. Mm -hmm. The Qur'an also says, and we commanded man to be good. Husna, it's like ihsan, to his parents. 